So I want to talk about silver and the merits of owning silver. I know some of my past videos I've been showing sentiment. I got a few messages, people asking, you know, why do you, if you're showing this much sentiment, why do you own precious metals? When I'm talking about sentiment, I'm talking about the short term outlook of silver. I think silver is going to continue to go down from where we're at right now. So I'm going to just hold off before purchasing in bulk. I think it's better to buy silver a dollar over the bottom than to buy every dollar on the downturn. However, I have been purchasing precious metals. I've slowed down as of lately because I want to capitalize as soon as we see that 75 cent to one dollar upswing. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, today we showed the first signs of silver coming back. Uh, it was up like 65 cents from uh, where it was, the 1682, it was up 65 cents, and so I was really close to purchasing precious metals uh, <clears throat> last night, and I'm kind of glad I didn't because the price went back down, and I think it's going to continue to go down, but I can't, you know, um, foresee the markets, I cannot predict the markets, anyone that can is either a banker or they're full of BS. So <clears throat> that's what I'm going to do because we cannot predict a bottom. So as soon as silver shows a sign of an upswing, that's when I'm going to purchase because we don't know what that bottom is going to be. And I think of silver like this. The silver price is being manipulated down big time. And uh, we can see that if we have been you know, watching the spot prices of lately. We've seen some pretty big dips. And I think we're going to continue to see some pretty big dips. Um, I think a lot of uh, bankers are behind all these manipulations. And I think that maybe they're manipulating the price of silver down because they foresee some uh, bad signs in the stock market. And I think the stock market is not going to go on forever at this pace. I think it is going to uh, start to wane off. I don't know how long it will last before it does. But when it does, I think our silver will shine pretty good. And I think instead of the banks shorting the price of silver, I think that they, when they do get to the bottom and they cannot drive the price of silver down anymore, they'll be buying as much physical silver as possible. And then they'll buy their stocks back. And uh, they'll basically ride silver to the moon. Uh, if we all know the sil silver price manipulations of JP Morgan. I think they had a lot to do with the 2011 spike in the silver price. I still see silver as somewhat overvalued compared to uh, historic figures. If you look at postage rates, if you look at the price of a new vehicle, if you look at the ratio versus the Dow Jones or the New York Stock Exchange, um, the only thing that I think silver right now is outperforming is gasoline. And I think it's outperforming, um, or it's the better buy than gasoline, and it's a better buy than gold right now in ounces. So I think that, um, you know, the price of silver will continue to go down, but I could be wrong, and we could see that 75 cent spike, and I could be purchasing bullion tonight. So I, I wanted to say that. I think that the banks are driving the price of silver down but when uh, they can't control the price of silver and it can't go down any further they can't manipulate it down I think that they're gonna purchase physical silver as well as their stocks and they're gonna ride the rocket ship to the moon like Raw Dog would say I really think that the banks are gonna manipulate the price down and they're sure gonna manipulate the price up when the time comes for their benefit because we all know banks aren't out for our best interest. They're out for their own best interest. They're going to continue to pump the stock market until they can't anymore. Then they're going to get into something that will perform when the stock market doesn't. Um, precious metals.